Yes, the media news on Star FM 91.5 Ibadan. I am Apidemi Sulaiman. And before I proceed, let's have the news headlines. Nigeria vowed to avoid fuel subsidies return. Missed reaction, trail federal government plan to replace BVN with NIN. And CDC wants Nigeria to safely celebrate Valentine amid COVID-19. From the foreign scene, Peru Health Minister resigns over former president vaccine scandal. <laughs> To the news in details. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC has advised Nigerians to think of innovative ways to celebrate tomorrow's Valentine's Day and to do so safely. The agency urged Nigerians to protect themselves, families, and loved ones, especially in ways that do not involve large gatherings. It is said several institutions also have a role to play in ensuring adherence to preventive measures urging business owners to introduce measures that would ensure people visiting their stores, clubs, eateries, fun sports, eateries, have their face masks on throughout to protect other customers and staff. NCDC Director General Dr. Chikwe Ihekazo, in an exclusive interview with newsmen, reminded that the public that's doing one or out of these measures will put them at risk, saying they have better protected by practicing all public health and social measures. In the same vein, the National Agency for the Control of AIDS, NACA, charged young people in particular to avoid risky sexual behavior while celebrating the day. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, says Nigeria has expressed firm commitment to avoid the return of fuel subsidy and to put an hand to electricity tariff shortfalls by June this year. Recall that the federal government removed petrol subsidy in March last year after reducing the pump price of the product to 125 naira per litre from 145 naira on the back of the sharp drop in crude oil prices. However, the IMF in a report after the conclusion of its Article 4 consultation with Nigeria said the authorities highlighted important recent reforms undertaken despite a difficult microeconomic environment. According to the IMF report, Nigerian authorities expect the Petroleum Industry Bill PIB, to be approved by Parliament by the first quarter of this year. He said they were confident that the ensuring of the reforms would significantly boost investment in the oil sector as well as generate sizable positive spillovers for the non oil organization. The IMF staff welcomed the recent submission of the PIB to the Parliament. Mixed rehearsals have started to trail the plans by the federal government to replace the bank verification number BVM with the national identity number NIN. The reactions came to the fore two days after the Minister for Communications and Gitsau Economy, Dr. Isa Pantami, disclosed their collaboration with the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to ensure citizens with BVNs are automatically provided with NIM. Here in Ibadan, the Ibadan, state capital, a cross-section of the citizens who reacted to the development in a chat with Star FM correspondent Kevin Awoki, free weight behind the decision of the federal government, noting that the initiative will bring support to the people and forestall untold hardship which they are currently going through in getting the national identity number.
nine. So why not refer nine to the same? So for me, I think it will make things much easier because the stress is too much, like queuing and the pandemic, Corona and everything. And you still have to queue at the bank. I think it should be very perfect because there won't be any stress of going to the local government for the NIN because the queue there is very massive. People go in the morning, I think by six in the evening, they are not done. So I think the BVM will be better. If the federal government, if they ask people to use BVM in place of NIN, it will ease people if they have BVM. This NIN we are talking about, there are a lot of people that they are, they are work and they will not have the opportunity or they will not have the time to go and register for this. So the highlight are some argue with the development will bring about an alarming surge of cybercrime and fraud. According to the land sector, fraudsters in conjunction with greedy bank officials we exploit the opportunities to submit BVN fraud by using individuals' BVN to see and obtain the bell data easily. To avoid school of thought, replacing the bank verification number with a national identity number will lead to a serious apathy towards registering and collecting national identity cards. Because they are much calm on ground right now because anything they talk about, the most people in bank, their staff, they are the one giving the G guys the information about maybe getting money from your account, local scams, blah, blah, like that. Because if they link it to BVN, there will be more crime in the country. So they should just put it there with NIM to stay on its own and BVM to stay on its own. They should link it together. It's not possible. It's not the same thing now. It's not possible. It's not the same thing. National ID card is not the same thing as bank as BVN. Is it the same thing? It's not the same thing. It can't work. They should just go directly to all this network something. So everybody should go there easily. I'm tired of Nigeria. They do, however, advise the federal government to come out with central and permanent biometrics that will exclude the citizens from unnecessary hardship brought upon them by the numerous unorganized biometrics identification number just one that you can use anywhere at any time not that a government will come up today and say let's change from BVN to NIN from another NIN to another education number let's just use a permanent number if the BVN will be okay let it be permanent if it should be NIN it should be permanent that is what I think it's their job they are the government they are out there well we have our own role to play they also have their own role to play so if they want the biometric system to be one they know what to do since we all registered our SIM, I see no reason why they can't get the same biometrics we use for registering our SIM for the NIN and BVN or whatsoever it is. So for me, I think since everyone has a SIM, it is registered. If that data is processed in the right order, we should be able to... It will be recalled that the Minister for Communications and Digital Economy, Dr. Issa Pantami, had pointed out that BVN records may not be 100% the same as the NIN, or that it is most important is that the NIN is the primary identity of every regular resident in the country. Arrested popular comedian Debo Adebayo, also known as Mr. Macaroni, at the Lekki toll gate. The comedian joined other protesters at the toll gate to express his dissatisfaction with the decision of the legal state judicial panel of inquiry allowing the Lekki concession company to reopen the Lekki toll gate today. In a live Instagram before his phone and those of other arrested protesters were seized, the comedian lamented that Lekki is under military rule. The federal government and the police had earlier warned youth who plan to protest at Lekki toll gates today, Saturday, to have a rethink and shelve the protest. Another group, Defend Lagos, withdrew from the protest, noting that it was in accordance with the government directive that no protest should hold. <laughs> Member of Hersmen on Friday night invaded Igboro or Jaldon in the Yewa North local government area of Fogun State, killing three and injuring two villagers. The Hersmen reportedly invaded the village close to Igwa in Ojaldon around 11 p.m. on Friday, shot indiscriminately, and set up three houses and storehouses in the village. 
confirming the incident ballet of Igboro epidemic accurately said he had counted three corpses as of the time of speaking with journalists this morning. Akurede said two villagers, a man and a woman, have been rushed to a nearby hospital after they sustained George Shot's injuries. When contacted, the police public relations officer in the state, the SP, Abimbola Oyeyemi, confirmed the incident. Oyeyemi said a team of policemen have been drafted to the scene to ensure the safety of lives and properties. <laughs> From the foreign scene, Peru's health minister Pila Mazetti resigned on Friday, according to state TV, amid a growing scandal over claims that former president Martin Vizcarra was vaccinated against COVID 19 before Jijab was available to the public. Pila Mazetti, who had served as the country's minister of health since July last year, has presented a letter of resignation to President Francisco Sagasti. State Television Network TV Peru reported the government is here to formally confirm she is stepping down. Local media said her successor is due to be sworn in on Saturday and will be the South American nation's 50th, 5th health minister since the pandemic first emerged in the country 11 months ago. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of the media news for this afternoon. Let's have a quick recap of the news headlines. Nigeria vowed to avoid fuel source with this return. NCDC wants Nigeria to safely celebrate Valentine amid COVID-19. Mixed reaction, 12 federal government plan to replace BVN with NIN. And from the foreign scene, Peru Health Minister resigns over former president vaccine scandal. Thank you for listening. I can link keep a lock on Star FM 91.5 Ibadan. I am Abidemi Sulaiman.